I'm going to add a table to our module and take a look at um, Affinity Publisher's table tool. It's a very powerful tool, but it can also be uh, pretty confusing to use. So click on it over here. I've got my text uh, locked down, and so I can just drag it on here. Um, I could add more columns, but I really only need two for this table. So I um, click it down like that, and then if I look at, um, I can click on either one of these and change the format of the table, but I'm going to use this one. So if I click on that one and look at uh, format two, um, this one uh, looks okay, but I must have modified this because if I look at this, I have a line right here and lines around all of these. So I don't want that. And so if I look at the two, there's two different types of cells. There's the green cell, which is format four. So if I click in here, that's format four. If I click up here, it's the default format. So that one has no fill and it has an outline around the cell. So I don't want that. I want to have, I'll change it over to text three format. Um, so that got rid of those lines on there. So I like that better. Uh, okay, so that's that one. Now, if I wanted to, I could right click on this and edit a copy of format two. And I will call that format three. Okay, and if I edit that, I could um, change this to a different fill color. So I'm going to change it to this tan color. Okay, and I don't have anything selected, so I'm going to select this, and then that will apply that format to this table. Okay, so now I can put in. Um, my information in here. I'm going to see if I can copy and paste that from my Word document. Okay, so I uh, pasted the information into the table. Um, this column is not, or this final row is not needed, so I'm going to delete that row. If I uh, select it and right click on it, I can delete it. I'm going to uh, position this until it changes into a double arrow. I can move that over and then I can uh, for this part I'm going to have it so that it's um, aligned centered vertically which it already is oops centered vertically and I want this um, aligned to the center. This one it's okay if it's aligned to the left but I also want it centered vertically, which it's already set to. So there's a basic table. If I now right now it's um, not blended in with the background, but I could do that. If I go over here and take a look at that layer, I can change it from normal to multiply. Okay, so that's pretty good. So that's pretty much what you'd need to do. Well, the other thing. Uh, I need to do is to change the wrap style so that when I add text around this it won't um, it'll jump around it. Now I could pin this to a piece of text so that it would move with the text as I added that uh, text to this. Or I could leave it floating like this so that it always stays here where I put it. All right now um, I'm going to just look at a couple other features that you could add to this uh, using the table tool. And I don't need those, but I'll just show what those are like. So your basic table is like this, but you can, by clicking on these plus, um, you could add columns to this, or you could add uh, additional rows to this. And so when you do that, um, it'll create a pattern and so um, it uses the default cell format for adding those. So if I look at this one, it's in this format three. If I look at this one, it's in the default format. 
and the default has these lines around it, which is why we're seeing lines around that one. So to change it to the format I want it, I want this to be format three, um, and that took out the lines. And then let's just say for some reason I wanted to have it formatted uh, like this. And again, this one is the default, so I need to change that over to format three. So, so now I have over here in this part, I have two uh, white ones and one brown one. Over here I have two brown ones, a pattern of brown, white, brown, brown, white, brown, repeating like that. Okay, um, I probably wouldn't want to do that, but you could. The other thing you can do uh, is to add a header or a footer. So if I add another um, row like this, I can click down and up and over. And so this part will be, I can have this part different than the rest, have a different format than the rest, the main part of the table, for instance. So this one, um, let's see, I could add additional formats on here, so I'm going to do that. So I added a format five. I'm going to have, um, and I'll fill over here for the, I'm not gonna have a stroke, but I am going to add a white uh, fill on this one, or actually I'm gonna add a, let's say I add a green uh, fill on this one. So the last row of this is gonna have that green fill. Now, I could add more of these and move this up so that you know the last two rows have something like that going on. And then this one, the first row, has something. So this forms a header and this forms a footer. And then you could also have this on the on this side be a sort of a header column, and then you could have a footer column over here. So, um, and each of those could have different formats uh, uh, to them. So uh, that's that. I'm going to get rid of this um, format five, and I'm going to, um, this one I'm going to, I'm gonna get rid of uh, these extra cells that I added here. So make that like that, and then, um, I am going to add an extra um, cell up here for the title. I'm going to make this one have this format. I'm going to make this one have that format. And then I'm going to make this one have that format. So, um, okay. Oh, and then this I'm going to bring down like that. Okay. And so those are those changes. So, um, yeah. So let me check. So this one should be that format. This one is that format as well. This one is that format. Now you have the uh, option to set up some table text style, styles, but what I find is that doesn't seem to, um, I might be doing something wrong, but that doesn't seem to update over here to the table. So let's see. So this one should be format four like that. Now I'm going to have this one be, yeah, that's why I'm going to do it. Okay. And then I'm going to add a new uh, title for in this top one. I'm going to have a new title and I'm going to move the rest of this all down one. Okay. So I have my formatting format three structure set up how I want it. I'm going to hit okay. Um, Generally, when you add this, it'll come in normal, but you could add a multiply to that, to, to do that. And then uh, I'm going to um, insert a row, and I'm just going to cut, uh, control X and control V, and then I'm gonna merge these cells together um, so if I right click, I can merge the cells and then I'm going to put in, um, random counter table and, uh, I'm just gonna, you can change the font of these. Um, I'm just gonna, I have this one set to size 15 font 
and then I can um, center that. Thanks. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, and I'll try to reply to those.